Alright Zerg friends, this is Fanner and it's time for another Heroes of the Storm character. This time we've got Raynor, the Renegade Commander. Backstory, ex-Confederate Marshal James Raynor stood against whatever the universe can throw at him and survived. He stands as a bright beacon of hope among enigmatic aliens and monsters still fighting for justice in a cold, uncaring universe. Alright, so Jim Raynor here and uh... How's my favorite Raider doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. Thanks for asking. Um, <laughs> and here we've got the stun abilities. We've got penetrate in round, fire a shot damage and knocking back enemies in a line. So pretty simple uh, skill shot there. Then we've got inspire increases attack and movement speed for self and nearby allies. Then we've got adrenaline rush with the stim pack icon here, but it's not a stim pack. Passive automatically heals when on low health. This means the rain has got quite a bit of a uh, survivabil uh, survivability compared to a lot of other DPS heroes. Um, then we've got the passive here, reduce ability cooldowns by killing enemies. So every time you kill a hero or a minion, I think you lose one second from your ability cooldowns. So you can start spamming those ab abilities really quickly. Then we've got the heroic abilities here, Hyperion, the battle cruiser, calls down the Hyperion to do a strafing run on the ground. And then we've got the Rainers Raiders call in two cloaked banshees. Now this one is crazy strong, the uh, Hyperion here. Massive AoE damage, zones people out, does, does insane damage. I don't think the banshees can ever compare. Ban banshees can, you can use for like playing more gank style, but I don't know, they just they just don't seem anywhere near as good as the Hyperion. Maybe it's because everybody goes around as five at the minute, but it's crazy strong. All right guys, let's go ahead and get in the game. All right, we got ourselves into a game. It is Black Hearts Bay. Um, so once again, we've got to collect the doubloons and ter turn them in to the pirate guy. And then he'll go down and blast the forts down with his uh, cannons there. I already did play two games here, but I got disconnected twice. So hopefully it works out better this time. Because Jim Rayner really needs to make some plays here. But yeah, I really like Rayner because he's, he's solid. Like He doesn't do super high damage. But he's also got a bit of survivability. He doesn't have like a chase down ability, but he does a lot of damage in team fights, and his ultimate is absolutely insane, which is the battle cruiser, of course. But let's go ahead and get into this game. But I've been playing Rainer a lot, especially with Abatha. Um, I think Rainer Abatha combo is really strong because when Abatha clones Rainer then you get two BCs, and with BC being one of the strongest ultimates right now, it just becomes crazy, because there's so much damage from the double double BC. And uh, me and Katz have been playing that combo quite a lot. It's been going really well for us. I feel like we've got like 90% win rate with it, just queuing two man. Is this gonna load? All right, we're in, we're in. Let's have a look who we got on the team here. We got a, a Tyrant. We got an Illidan. We got a Tassadar. And we have a Zeratul. So pretty squishy team. But Tassadar will be able to help out with that shield. And um, I might go for Bribe. I'm not sure. Let's have a look here. Yeah, I'm going to go for Bribe here. Make me a bit weaker in the team fights, but it'll be okay because I'll be bribing people up. Um, a lot of the time, people just rush the watchtower on this map, but it looks like this time we're not going to bother, which is okay. Like I think it's overrated. It's better just to get the experience, as long as you don't die. Five. I've been thinking about the strategy a lot in this game, and I think people take team fights way too often. Like, I think better strategies would just be to have one in each lane and then use the other two people not to gank, but to get mercenaries to push, because honestly, hero kills don't seem to matter that much. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's like a small experience lead if you get some hero kills, which isn't that much unless you really capitalize on the level 10, um, because you need to push, basically, and... Uh, Mercenary camps help you push and get the balloons, especially on this map, but they don't do much else. Alright, they got three bar, that's really weird. Normally it's four top or something like that. I'm just gonna stay on this camp. I'll stand these minions down here, hopefully these guys don't die. They don't really have much killing potential down there. 
Illidan's a bit weak in the early game, but he is crazy in the late game. So we are winning on the experience slightly there. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this tiny pirate camp. I think it's really good. So just spamming my aura or my inspire. And this all these camps are really underrated by the way. I don't really see anyone else going for them and they're really powerful. I always end up getting rich from them. But yeah, I'm just gonna try and get the experience lead by staying in the lane. The balloons do matter a lot, but we'll see. Don't really want to give up the lane either. Only if it's really necessary. The enemy draws first blood. Oh no, don't die, Tassada. I'm getting a lot of doubloons right now. Probably gonna An go down there. Has been slain. <laughs> this should be good. This should be good. A talent. I'm gonna give uh, life steal. I always like the life steal on this guy. Gives me a lot of sustain. But yeah, Rain is really solid because of his heal, and he's got more HP than the other DPS guys, so he survives a lot more than the other ones. Which probably means he's really good for new players as well. But it means in team fights you don't have to worry about positioning as much and you can get in there and do a lot more damage. And his DPS is still really high because later on you get two abilities called Searing Attacks and um, some attack speed thing I forgot the name of. An ally has been slain. But they are really powerful. Gives you like five seconds of really high DPS. So yeah, I got four doubloons already. That's why those camps are really powerful. They're easy to kill as well. An ally has been slain. Oh man, people are dying. Raiders roll. Give them some pepper. Six doubloons right now, and I'm gonna have a bribe soon as well. Alright, so now I can go and bribe this camp and get even more doubloons. And deal with these guys first, since they're pushing pretty hard. Alright, now let's get this camp. You're improving. Right on. Got them bribe stacks, man. Them bribe stacks. So I'm gonna be able to eat the balloons now. We got two more. I'll go kill this camp and then I'll try and turn in. Sounds like a plan. So we've got the experience lead and we're not too far behind in the balloons, I don't think, as long as I get this turn in. That's why you don't really need to worry about the team fights too much, and I think people overestimate them. But it's really hard to communicate that to a team that you're not on microphones An to. Enemy has been slain. Let's see if we can sneak these in. Yeah, looks like we can. An enemy has been slain. But I feel like if you want to go for a five-man strategy, a really strong way to do it would be to have one in each lane, and just you know get all the experience and then keep killing the mercenary camps. But most people right now are just run straight at the objectives and don't care about anything. Oh, he wants it. He wants it. He wants it. Yeah. Alright, so now I got the Battle Cruiser. It's gonna be sick, man. More pirate camps are up. 
Can we get into these bad boys? See, this is why Rain is good as well. Like, his solid DPS, so you can actually kill camps without taking too much damage. Whereas a lot of DPS guys, they take a lot of damage from camps. Yeah, Rain is just solid all around. Right, let's get some more bribes, ducks. I should be crushing it, yeah. Oh, Illidan's got a lot of experience as well. So we've got some free doubloons down here. Money, money, money. Alright, we've got another turn in. Jimmy Rayner getting it done. Easy game. Easy life. Easy wife. Paying them the blues. I agree. I agree, moon bitch. Let's do it. So for those of you who don't know, you can actually dodge all of the attacks from the Siege Giants as long as you keep moving. Since they've got a projectile, it takes a while to get that. More money for me. Like it. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna go for Giant Killer. Because there's a lot of high HP heroes on their team. So it'll help out a lot. They got Arthas. Well, and Stitches. Alright, <laughs> what we got? I'll get some more bribe stacks here. How long's left on this? 45 seconds. So I want to get up to 40 before that respawns. And then we can go ahead and take it. We're just crushing them on experience here because we're controlling lanes a lot better. Reap! Oh, I thought he was gonna die from that shot. Alright, got another bribe stack. How long? 14. Let's see if this times out perfectly, guys. We're rolling in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7. Oh, we're gonna be too early. Just a tiny bit too early. I'm ready, though. I'm ready. Yeah, insta bribe. Look at all these doubloons, man. I'm like the doubloon king. 15 doubloons for me. Turned in so far. Got another 10 on me. Just rolling in the money. Let's get up to 14. We'll do another turn in. Let's get these pirates over here. I wonder if I can solo this guy as well. I'm not actually sure. I think I can, but it might take a while. I'll get him after the next turn. So yeah, Berserk, this is one of the powerful skills on Reyna. Because you get more attack speed along with certain attacks, you do a lot of damage. Even though uh, Reyna's not crazy with the damage. 14 to Bloons Meals. 29 for me. Wow. I'm rich, guys. I'm gonna try the, gonna try the Golem now. See if it works. It's gonna be an interesting... Um, interesting experiment. Because I got no idea if this works. I think I've done it before. But I took the damage at level 1 instead of the bribe. So that was a bit different. Because now we're doing a lot less deeps to this guy. Yeah, I should be able to kill him. Look, Rain is so good, man. He can just do camps and everything. He's a boss. My dear, he's actually doing a lot of damage to me. He's getting a bit of heal there because I have to dodge the stun. And when you go out of vision, then they go back and heal. So we'll try and move around better so that he doesn't go and heal. Right. Easy game, easy life. Easy wife! More doubloons, baby. Uh, where are we going next? 
I guess we just farm more lanes. Everyone's pushing. But I feel like we need to keep the experience up. Like, people get way too excited going around as five man. We could have one in each lane right now and we could be like four or five levels ahead. Keep destroyed. There's also two chests up as well. Gotta oh, kill this lane and get the chests. But yeah, I think more passive styles are actually stronger in this game. At least that's one way to play it. That's why you see me playing quite passive here. While everyone else is going crazy and winning the game. <laughs> Probably push for them in this situation. But I, I think it's I think it's better to get these doubloons, but we could probably finish the game at the same time. But I've seen so many people throw slain. games by just attacking in. So I don't want to put myself in that situation. An enemy has been slain. Well, looks like we do just win. Got something special for all the doubloon turn-ins from me, man. 29. The rest of the team not even up to 10 altogether. GG. G. Easy Rainer, he's life, man. So yeah, Rainer's really powerful. As you can see, he can do the mercenary camps really well. Um, he works well with bribe in the lane as well. You didn't? I didn't really team fight. I don't even think I dropped a BC that game. But he's really strong in team fights with the BC as well. I guess the best way to play him would be to sit in the lane, get the bribe stacks, get the mercenaries, and then just drop your BC in battles and then get back to the lane, since that BC is so strong. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the Reina gameplay, really solid hero, good for new players, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, peace. Links. So, this kind of plays into that because you hit a really, well not a super early, but you hit a really strong timing quite early in the game, with two gas, and if a player is being too greedy, going for that fast third, then you do a 